is now recording. So that's good. Pre-flight inspection complete. Passenger briefing. So you feel comfortable with where you're sitting at in yes. the airplane? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> good. Seats, seat belts, shoulder harnesses. Brakes. We will test and set those on our taxi out. Fuel selector. This to both, which it is. Fuel shutoff valve. Check in. Which it is. So, to come off, we will push in and rotate. Okay.
Denver Approach, November 65860. Quick question. 8860, go ahead. The last controller had uh, me locked on this course and said he would call my turn to my uh, course. Am I able to turn in this morning? 65860, sorry about that. The tower never let me know. You can resume on navigation to the spring. Resume on navigation, 860. Your 7 number, Morocco, call me and say 13000. You're clear, direct Eons. 13000 and direct Eons, 7 November Echo. Got to tell him that we needed a turn. Frontier flight 2890, it's been a while since anyone uh, let me know from uh, the last time I knew it was smooth above 17. Thank you. Six seven one Echo Alpha, Denver Approach. Uh, thank you for Charlie. Expect the visual approach. Seven one seven left. Seven one seven left. Denver Approach. Seven one seven. Denver Approach. Seven one seven. 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 Approach
did turn that GoPro on. Okay. Off. Now the autopilot is intercepting our course, which is good, I'm hands off. It's got us hanging out a little bit high. Huh? But I'm okay with it. We even have one bar of service up here. So one echo off of the center maintain one one top. Oh look, it's got these little boxes for us to fly through the through the sky there. Get us back on course? Yep. Huh. Pike speak. Oh. All right, now the autopilot is gaining our altitude pretty well. We're at 9,500 feet. It's on our GPS track. That's good. What are you looking for? Found it. I dropped my fan. And we are 20. Wait, six miles from Colorado Springs right now. Guys, 4801, Denver departure, we're out of contact. DVM1, Echo Alpha, the center maintain 900,000. So right now we're doing 100 knots um, indicated. True airspeed is 114 knots. Okay. Number 65860, contact Springs Approach on 120.6. 120.6, 860. Colorado Springs Approach, November 65860 is passing. 9,400 for 9,500 inbound. Request touch and go, followed by BFR departure to the north. Cessna 65860, Springs Approach. Roger, make straight in, runway 17 right. Straight in, 17 right, 860.
straight in one seven right. Which we're gonna be pretty much right on that course. Does A six zero do you have information Zulu? I'll pick up the information, Zulu, eight six zero. Thank you. speed is 114 knots. Okay. You've got our ground speed right there. Oh. And then we're, this is our head headwind right here. Okay. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Okay. Good. Think you could do this on the way to Wisconsin? Okay. Get there quick, I promise. <laughs> Alright, so I have uh, Colorado Springs in my sights. Get a power back. Got two two thirty five, maintain two five zero nine. Test the eight six zero contact tower one one nine or point nine. One one nine or point nine or eight six zero. Trim in motion. Pilot's coming off. There's one. I'll keep up. Colorado Springs Tower, November 65860 is on a straight in for 173. Go in 65830 Springs Tower, wind 130 at 8. Runway 17 right, cleared for the option. Tick not available. Cleared for the option, 17 right, 860. Southwest 756, contact departure, good day. Good departure, Southwest 756, good day. Number 860, uh, are you doing one touch and go and then departing north, or are you multiple touch and goes? Just one touch and go and then north uh, for 860. Number 860, Roger. First notch of flaps. 
and landing light and taxi light are coming on. Sure, we're going to enrich in just a Cherokee little bit. Cherokee 390 X-ray traffic, Boeing 737, just past off your left side, off the parallel runway. Your discretion, turn left, heading 100, caution, wake turbulence. Turn left, 100, got the traffic in sight, 390 X-ray. Yep. You can see how we're, we're two red over, or two white, two red. That's good. Cherokee 390 X-ray, contact departure. 390 X-ray, over to departure, good day. And a little bit of manifold pressure here. I like the speed. I like our approach angle to the runway. I like our glide slope. We were cleared for the option, which means we're cleared for landing, and then it's hit touch and go afterwards. Kanatra flaps is coming in. A little bit of power. Nose and over. Grab the airplane. Three mile line. One seven right. A little bit of power back. And we are on about a two mile final, so the last notch flaps is coming in. Now for our touch and go, what we are going to do is when we touch the ground, uh, we're going to maintain center line and I'm going to pull out that last notch of flaps so that we can accelerate okay. and take back off again. And we're pitching for 70. And up is good. Our speed's good. A little bit high, but coming down. It's 500 feet. We're still on center line and we're on speed and we're a little bit high, but I'm okay with that. And we've got our prop all the way to high pitch. Make sure is where we need it. Ears just popped. Like my lineup. I like my airspeed. Apps are full down. Gear is down. Here's the glide slope. Gonna catch that. A little bit too much sink. Correcting. Bring it back right just a hair. Meant for the numbers. And landing is assured, so power's coming out. bit of a bounce. That's all right. 
overhead, flaps are coming out, we're on center line, power's coming back up. And we're flying again. We're gonna get to a safe altitude and we are going to pick up the flaps incrementally. First notch of flaps coming out. Second notch of flaps coming out. Once we get up to 6,500 feet, we can make our turn back to the north. Should put us over our house. Five hundred feet. Never eight six zero. Turn right, heading two six zero altitude. Now we have a sixteen. You know, seventeen sixty two is a normal speed. Tailwind. So we're doing one hundred and forty eight knots across the ground. Oh. With a true airspeed of one hundred thirty three, one hundred thirty four. United 1762, contact number center, 128.37. You see Denver on the horizon? Just barely. And all the smog? Yep. <laughs> Just barely see it. Alright, so... I get 80, just kind of maintain 1-1000. I'm going to get back down to 8,000. Uh, 5762, Denver departure, right of contact, traffic at 9 o'clock, 4 miles north sound, 13 for 11 in Brer. Bottom of it is 10,000. We were at 9,500. We were already under it. But okay. I also want to set ourselves uh, up to. There's a golf course with the bear paw. Cool. I wonder if that's bear dance. I thought that was on the other side of the interstate, though. Skyline 860, traffic 11 o'clock in a mile or less than a mile, maneuvering 8,200 indicated. 860 looking for traffic. Going 860, they're uh, just below you now at 8,400. Looks like same direction. Traffic in sight. I 80 flooding 360 and just going to maintain 10,000. Got 5762, traffic no factor, climb maintain, but the full 230. He should be over on the right behind us now. I saw him on the other side. So with this um, altitude of 8,500, no. we um, should be just over the TFR. 
more than Coors Field. Uh, we're going to be skirting the leftern edge of it, but Coors Field is smack dab in the middle of it. Now. What's that? You can see Denver. I can see Denver okay. downtown now. Why does it seem like this takes a second to turn on? I'm talking. Yeah, it does. Gotta kind of wake it up. Okay. So, are we going to cross? over 470? Yes. I did 80 to try to maintain 8,000. Yeah, 5762, contact number center, 128.65. Take care. Zero whiskey trolley, then we're up for a tucker. I did 80, the airport's off the right side, six miles. I did 80, thanks, turn a five mile final at 8,000, clear visual approach, turn one for the month. Departure King Air, November 223, Romeo and Charlie here with you, climbing out of 7,000 for 8,000, runway heading. A couple there, one Southwest 2071, never departure, we're at a contact, 8,500, climb at 10, level 230. <coughs> Air 223 Romeo Charlie, Denver departure, radar contact, climb maintain, flight level 230. Climb maintain, flight level 230, 223 Romeo Charlie. What's that body of water over there? You know? Uh, probably Chatfield. Yeah, uh, 6 Fox, Fox, turn left heading 280. I did 80, contact Centennial Tower, 11849. Alright, I'm going to go down to 7500, but I'm going to do a course a little bit left here so that we don't bust the TFR. That would be bad. Yep. That was 2002, Denver departure, we're at a contact, climb maintain, Southern Bull 230. In your 3 room, Mill Charlie, proceed direct to Pueblo. Get direct to Pueblo, 3 room, Charlie. Yep. So 3353, Denver departure, we're at a contact, climb maintain, Thunderbolt 230. So BJC Tower is going to be 618 Mike Mike with Delta requesting the RNAV 17 left Centennial. I have final calling standby. Sirius 8 Mike Mike. Two. Denver uh, approach. Clock 0406. 040 zero, 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 six, Sirius 618 Mike Mike. Southwest 2071, contact number center, 128.65. Southwest 
at 168 knots. Mike, Mike, right contact, 11400. I thought it was 3024 and 51 of the RNAV, 17 left Centennial. Affirmative with Delta, Sirius 618, Mike, Mike. Sirius 8, Mike, Mike, Roger. And the Seminole that was calling, give me your numbers one more time. Up, up. 442, Mike Kilo, Club 0470. Hey, we're below the Bravo, so that's good. 442 Mike Kilo, we're to contact at 8,000, say request. We're below the Bravo and we are left of the TFR. We're good. Mike Kilo, sounds good. Do you want to go to half or drop or make a left turn to pay dirt for that? Mike Kilo, proceed direct half. JC's field elevation is 5673, so 5700. Uh -huh. 6700 is going to be their pattern altitude. Okay. <clears throat> Good Denver, honey. Oh. Terminal 2 Mike Kilo is uh, 10 miles and a half, maintain VFR, practical deferred, no separation services provided. Alpha 2002, Kathy Kimmer Center, 128.65. We're burning 14.8 gallons per hour right now. We're also... 869 Bravo, Denver Approach, Denver Alpha 3025. We're tracking 137 knots. Engager 3 Romeo Charlie, Kathy Kimmer Center, 128.37. 12837, have a good day, 3 Romeo Charlie. I mean, we're, we're cooking. This is this is pretty good. We get this kind of speed. Mike, 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 flooding 360. On our way to Wisconsin. 360, we'll work heading 0618, Mike, Mike. LN 860, traffic at 12 o'clock, 5 miles southbound, 8,400 indicated. You see mile high. Charlie, turn 10 degrees left, descend to maintain 8,000. Mile high is out there. Southwest 3353, contact number center, 128.65. Just off downtown. Yep. Yeah. 3353 Southwest, 2865. Dialing 860, traffic at 12 o'clock, 4 miles opposite direction, 8300 indicated. 860, scanning for traffic. Traffic inside. It's right there. Oh, yep, I see it now. Is that an airplane? Yep. It looks so small. Yep. Do you have enough room in this thing? Yeah. We are past the TFR. Denver departure 415, Hotel Delta 6600, climbing 8000. Five hotel Delta, Denver departure, right of contact, climb maintain one one thousand. Climb one one thousand four one five hotel delta. Delta eight six zero, contact Metro Tower one one eight point six. One one eight point six eight six zero. Metro Tower November six five eight six zero is at seven thousand five hundred. Our uh, inbound request touch and go with departure to the south. Number 65860, Metro Tower, enter a right base, runway 12 right. 
Right base for one two right, eight six zero. Ports there. We're going to come down to sixty seven hundred feet. Cops coming forward. Tower, good afternoon. Seven oh four four two Mike Kilo approaching half on the yard up one two left side. Seven hundred feet. Seven oh four four two Mike Kilo Metro Tower traffic a little far prior to you. Runway one two left bit of land. One two left clear to land. Four four two Mike Kilo. Airfield in sight, over there to the right. This is 738 Bravo Juliet Metro Tower, wind 190 at 4, north on course approved, runway 12 left for takeoff. are good to go. North turn 12 left, clear for takeoff, 8 Bravo Juliet, thanks. PM's where we want it.